what is right and wrong? I think that's a question we all ask ourselves again and again. Okay, is this right? Is this right? Is this wrong? Is this wrong? And I think in a lot of ways, it depends on what we learned, or in a lot of ways, it depends on how I grew up, what I think is right or wrong. I'm sure my values, a lot of my values come from how I grew up, and, and, and I have a very strong belief system in what I think is right or wrong. At the same time, for myself, the decisions in my life I make, they are always right, because I make them for myself. I'm an, I'm an adult. I know what I do. I know where I'm going. Sometimes I don't, but usually I do. And I make a decision, so I'm responsible for myself. How could the decision ever be wrong? There are no wrong decisions in my life. Because everything I do, I do because I believe it's the right decision. So it is the right decision. Um, if I make decisions because I don't know, or because um, I'm thinking about them, or because I have too many choices, and then I just figure out how I'll choose this because maybe it sounds the best, it is still not wrong. Because for me, every decision in my life I make is the right decision because it will carry me further on my path. And if the decision needs me to realize, for instance, I cannot drink coffee anymore because uh, I cannot handle the acid in coffee, then it's a good decision to drink like maybe five cups of coffee a day and figuring out it's not for me. Because every decision has a consequence. And the consequences are what teaches us, for me anyway, that's the way it is. So there's no right or wrong decision. If you ask me, for advice, like people ask me, just like this morning, um, a colleague asked me, okay, I have a job offer here and there, which one should I take? And I just give them a little hint of how they can figure out what feels better to them or what option is maybe the better one for them. Um, it's like still there's no right or wrong decision, it's the decision you make that is the right decision. Um, Sometimes people will ask me, what should I do here? And I give them a clear answer. Then that is most likely the best decision to make to follow that answer or to follow that advice. Um, but in general, for me, life has no, no right or wrong. Anyway, not in my own life. There are right and wrongs, of course. If I am consciously nasty to people, to me, that is wrong. If I steal something, that is wrong. And it just happened to me this morning. I was I was in the supermarket and I paid for my groceries and I, and I walk out and I realize there's a little bottle of oil that I forgot. It's sitting right next to my bag and the guy at the cash register just didn't notice, nobody notices. So for a moment I'm here like, okay, am I just gonna walk out like this? And I thought, no, I can't do that. That's not okay. So I took my little oil bottle, I went to the self-checkout and paid for that one oil bottle, and then I went out. Not because somebody told me I had to do it, because nobody would have noticed, but I did. So there for me is a very great difference between right and wrong because to have walked out without paying would have been wrong. But I make that decision for myself. Nobody else can make that for me. Somebody else maybe would have decided for themselves, it's okay, for whatever reason. Um, but those are values, I think basic values I learned in my life that I strongly believe in. I strongly believe in trying to not um, be bad to people, to not take things from people that don't belong to me, to not manipulate people, to try to be as open and honest as I can with people. So I think these basic values in our lives are what teaches us right from wrong. Does that mean it, the same thing goes for everybody else? No. No, it doesn't. Somebody else's, somebody else's values are maybe completely different from mine. Somebody else believes in maybe something completely different than I do. And that's okay. It, it's not okay when it starts being hurtful. 
It's not okay when you start using your values or your beliefs to hurt other people. Because I believe that with all these different rights and wrongs and values and systems that come together, we still always have to respect the other person. And we still always have to see, okay, what do my beliefs do to somebody else? Does that mean I will make decisions based on somebody else's beliefs? No. But it means that I will be extra careful to not hurt someone or to not intentionally hurt someone or offend someone. And if somebody tells me you've offended me, I will listen and say, I'm sorry. Uh, I didn't realize. Maybe that does not make me change, but it will help me be more aware of right and wrong because it is very different for everyone. I believe the wrongest thing in the world is to intentionally hurt people with no um, clear path of where that should go in any positive way. So for me, they're very basic right and wrongs. You know, right is what I need to do for myself when I follow and I'm willing to, to take the consequences. And wrong is when I do things intentionally to hurt or manipulate others. But that's my basic value system in my life.